Dean, it was a bit of a bit of a feisty one for you last week. Yeah, I think we expected it. Um, I think the first time, obviously, back at at, at Powell Lane, and uh, and with fans, we knew it'd be a, a little bit um, on that side, and, um, and that's what it was. But it was, uh, you know, there's no problems. It's, it's it's what you'd expect in that in that kind of fixture. You managed to get the last laugh, though. Yeah, it'd have been nice if we'd have got the win. Um, you know, we was uh, we were slightly disappointed of our first half showing. Uh, it didn't really feel like we imposed ourselves. But the second half we come out and we played a lot better. And um, you know, I think the least we deserve as a point. But I think you know, that last ten, especially after the goal, I think we um, could maybe managed it a little bit better and um, maybe could have nicked it. You know, right, right at the end. It's a couple of assists for a Troy in in, in two games for you. He, he said um, on Saturday that you you two are forming quite a quite a decent partnership. Yeah, I always always have with Troy. He's um, he makes you know really um, really good runs and he's he's really really easy to spot as a defender. Um, you know, certain, certain players you can sort of pick their runs quite early and, and Troy I sort of had that connection with him where I, you kind of get a feeling of where he's where he's going and what he wants. So um, it's nice that it's come off. Um, I think the Wickham game as well at home, we had another one sort of, so he sort of lends himself to those those runs where he gets them behind and um, you know, it's nice that you know, he's, he's finishing them off now and, um, and uh, you know, we're getting a few goals from it. He certainly found his feet again, hasn't he? He feels like he's one of those players that everybody has wanted to do really, really well and I imagine it's exactly the same behind the scenes. You guys have been desperate to, to, to get him back to the form that he showed at the start of the season. Yeah, he's, um, you know, he's a hugely popular uh, member of the team and... Um, I think all young players will have that when they're coming through. Um, I think it's probably the advantage of coming down a level or two from from where he was at is that you know you play through those bad spells and, and you learn um, you learn about yourself. You know you sort of learn what you need to do and you sort of um, you come back better. And I, he, he definitely has. But I think you know, that'd be the case for all, all of the young lads that you know that experience that at some point and it's, and it's how they respond to it. And um, you know Troy Troy's done really well. He sort of knuckled down. He's um, taking care of himself, he's doing extras. He's you know, he's he's really putting it in in training, and uh, and eventually he sort of his forms come back, and and the goals have come back, and um, you know he's he's come back in a sort of a better all round player than than he probably was at the start. Another one of those young players nominated for for Player of the Year, Scott Twine. He's been sensational since arriving at Stadium MK, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been, he's been great. Um, I think just the sheer volume of his numbers of goals and assists on their own is. Is something incredible. I think his, his overall team play as well is is, is excellent. He's you know he's a good pass for the ball. He's he's work rate right out of position as well, which is something that doesn't get mentioned probably enough because of his goals and his assists. But you know he does a really good job for us at that top end of the pitch. And um, you know we're absolutely delighted for him that he's been um, he's been nominated and hopefully he'll, he'll go on and win it. You mentioned his his out of uh, out, out of possession uh, sort of positioning. He always seems to find those pockets of space, doesn't he? he always and he always feels like he, he wants the ball. Yeah, I think I think good players do that. They sort of looks like they always have more time than what they do when they find those positions. And um, you know, he's a very smart player. Um, and he knows where he needs to be and and, and the sort of where he wants the ball. And he, he finds himself in those little those little pockets that, you know, as a defender, are really hard to pick up. You, know, you, you don't you want to step in too early because you can go the other way as well. And it's. If he then turns, he's got that shot on him, and he's you know he's got an eye for a pass as well. So he picks up those real tricky positions, and um, you know he's, he's done excellent. Was he a surprise as to how good he was when he when he first showed up in, at MK Dons in the summer? We, we played against him uh, a few games before the last game of the season, and uh, and Luke had worked with him at Swindon, and he, he was sort of singing his praises, sort of saying that we can't let him shoot from sort of anywhere in our half. Obviously, he was going to score, and it was. Uh, so we was on a sort of alert to him, and in, in that game, to be fair to him, they were they were hopeless, and um, and I don't think he hardly touched the ball, Scotty. So uh, you know, when he, when he came in, we sort of we knew of his reputation, but obviously in that game, he hadn't really touched the ball that much. But I think early on, you know, from the first couple of weeks of training, you could tell that he had that quality, and um, you know, his shooting ability was was evident you know, from the very start. So it's um, I wouldn't say a surprise, but you know, it's it's um, he's he's definitely um, you know, come on leaps and bounds since he's come in. Now, for you, it's been 41 appearances this season. You've had a player in a month nomination. You must be pretty pleased with how your season's gone as well, to be honest. Yeah, and, you know, it's been another good season. Um, really enjoyable this season as well. It's you know, it's been one of those that um, we played some really good football, and you know, we've had some good results in the road, and you know, it's, it's been a really, really good season with a you know, terrific group of boys as well. So, um, you know, I've enjoyed being part of it, and I've sort of enjoyed uh, you know the way the team's progressed and. 
and I sort of include myself in that. Even though I'm sort of an older player, you still have that ability to improve and and to um, to keep doing that with, with the team. And I think we we've all done that together. So um, you know, I've been pleased with you know, the majority of my performances, and um, you know, just a few more, and hopefully that will sort of uh, take us there. And in the centre back position as well, that a few years ago you said you you didn't particularly want to play in, but now you've spent two seasons there. How are you finding it? Yeah, good. I think it it always sort of suited me quite well. I think um, as a fullback, I was always a, you know, a quite a big fullback um, in terms of size wise and stuff. And so I was always a little bit of a hybrid with that centre half. It's just that for for a long time, as you know, I was uh, I was putting it off, and um, you know, everyone was saying I should be a centre half, and. Uh, my dad was saying, like, you know, you'll be good on that sort of position, and you think, no, I don't want to play it. And um, but that, that left side centre half is, is is perfect for me. Um, it, you know, it allows me to be on the ball, and um, I'm comfortable in those wide channels when you need to go out there. But um, also having that someone on the outside of you as well helps helps as well. So um, you know, I've been really really happy playing in that three, and um, you know, it suited me really well. Four games left, then it's um, you know the, the the whole perspective of the league at the minute could could change. Um, in these next three or four days, it's, it's the running is just going to be huge now, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think Easter's always a massive time. I think the, you know, the two games in such quick succession it will you know, have a real bearing on the table, and um, I'm sure after these two games it will give a you know, sort of clearer picture of um, sort of the movers and the shakers, and um, you know we'll see we'll see where we are. Sheffield Wednesday then tomorrow. It's um, you know they don't they don't get. Much um, much bigger than that, given given the form that, that Wednesday are on heading to Stadium MK. Yeah, I think they're you know, just the name Sheffield Wednesday. They're one of the sort of the grand old clubs of England, and uh, you know it's fantastic that um, you know we can welcome them here and and sort of on a par really. You know, it, it sort of shows how far that we've come as a team that you know we're we're competing with teams like that, and um, you know it's set up for, for a really good game. I know they're on a you know they're on a good run of form, but I think we're we actually are better in terms of form I think uh, if that's right I think we're over the last eight or 12 games I think we're the top form team so um, you know both come to the into the game in, in, in good spirits and um, you know, I expect a, expect a really good game